welcome. Today on Daytime Live we are going to be looking at the top five church songs this week, watching the trailer for the new Spider-Man movie and much more. But first we have a guest here with us, Boalia, a music journalist from Luton. Welcome to the studio, Boalia. I'm glad to be here. Are you excited? Yeah, it's going to be lit. I'm excited. <laughs> Good. Thank you for coming. So it's time to check out this week's top five singles. Let's start with places four and five. So, Bali, are you feeling yourself after that song? Oh, yeah, you know it. It's a great song, you know. I like it. It's pretty good. Not as good as Timber, but, you know. So how do you feel about Kesha as an artist then? Kesha as an artist, um, she's worked hard to get where she's at. She deserves all the recognition she's got, all the fame. She's worked hard for it, she earned it, and she deserves it. I think, I think in a way that's the same for Miley Cyrus. Because yeah. obviously she started off as innocent Hannah oh, Montana. Yeah. And Everyone loved Hannah Montana. Yeah. Went to be in this midlife crisis. <laughs> crisis. Yeah. yeah, and now she's kind of returned to the normal... Yeah. Like, Date? Yeah. Could you say? I think it's I don't got know. a lot to do with um, stress and the pressure from the media expecting yeah. something of her. Therefore, I she's tried so. to change herself to better suit an image that she yeah. thinks the media would appreciate. I mean, in the like the end of the day, like being a celebrity, it must be so hard. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, having to deal with like you can't even go out to the shop without being People. yeah pictured or yeah. coming up to you. So I think it is quite a lot of stress. Yeah. Do you think them three voices then for feeling myself go together? Um, seeing as it got like fourth spot, I'd say they go together all right. I mean, um, people like the song, it's an all right song, so yeah. surely the, all the voices in it work together good, harmonious. Do you think both of the songs were uh, good where they were? Like, do you reckon they deserve the place? Fourth that and they got? fifth place, yeah, I reckon they deserve where they, like, to be where they're at because um, they're good songs, but they're not songs I would like give a 10 out of 10 or 4, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I totally get you, totally understand you. So would you not, like, so you think they deserve like that place, you wouldn't put them any higher? No, 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 no. Compared to the other songs that have coming up, I would say 4 and 5, they should stay where they're at. That's my final declaration of the topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fair enough. That's yeah. your opinion, isn't it? So yeah. as long as... You know. I quite like both them songs as well, I do. Why? Yeah. I don't know, I really like Timber. I just think it's a good beat, it's quite catchy. Yeah. Yeah. It gets a bit annoying after a while, but it's, it's Yeah, like, I feel like it gives a good vibe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 It's like the kind of song you would sing in the shower with. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. If you like those songs, you'll really like what's coming up next. Right, let's move on to places three and two. <laughs> Well, I'm certainly not happy after that. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more, to be honest. Why not? Happy should inspire happiness. You no. guys should be <laughs> cheerful and energetic. No. It's so overplayed that it gets yeah. like, it's so catchy as well. Yeah, it's but annoying. it's overplayed for a reason. Yeah, it's overplayed so that it gets so annoying. Yeah. When you hear it, it's then catchy, but it's like people just not turning it off. It's like a song, if I get it stuck in my head, I'm like annoyed at myself. Well, that's good because yeah. it's gaining popularity it. then. Yeah, it's in it your head over and over. But it's so irritating. Yeah, I know, yeah. When I first heard it, I was like, okay, it's a decent song. Mm -hmm. It just kept playing and playing. I was just a bit like, yeah. I'm a bit bored now. I think that's what all the radios do, though. They, yeah. They play like the same 10 songs over and over again. And yeah, but then you have those people who will love those songs forever, regardless of how, like, yeah. how much they're played. Yeah, no, out. but they've kind of got to think about other people who are kind of getting very annoying <laughs> yeah. at the same songs. So well, you've do got to you consider do they want to attract the people who like the song or the people who don't like the song? Yeah, but or people will like the song and then yeah. they end up not liking the song, <laughs> so you can't win. How do you feel about Dibby Dibby Sound then? Do you prefer? Do you prefer that one? No. No? <laughs> no. no that's that's just as bad. Oh, I quite I like that. I wouldn't say it's just as bad. No, you they're both as bad as each other. <laughs> they're not as bad as each other. Happy is better than Dibby Dibby whatever. 
I really like Dimmy Dimmy Sound, I think, compared oh. to Happy. I it's just... only you who likes that song. Yeah, I know, but it's got a it good is beat. It's so repetitive. It's just the same thing. Like, yeah, but agree. then Happy is repetitive as well. Yeah, but yeah, Happy I know, is but at least Dibby, not Dibby as Sound, much. Do they say anything else other than Dibby Sound? Oh, really? Yeah, but it's got, it's got a good beat. It's a bit of a laugh. Like, if you're listening to that, it gets you, like, hyped. Like, it's the kind of song, yeah, you go over to a friend's house, play that song, you guys will be jamming to exactly. it for a while. Exactly, that's yeah. why I think it's better. I couldn't do that with Happy. Yeah, you could. It would just be a lot less jamming, It'd more... It would just be more, like, mellow and just boring and just annoying. <laughs> I think you're just hating. That's what I think you're doing. <laughs> it's just opinion, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Mm. So do you agree with the charts? What are your top songs this week? Tweet us at Daytime Live, but for now, here's the moment we've all been waiting for, the top song this week. If you gave me a chance, I would take it. That was actually filmed in Japan. Yeah. That was filmed in Japan. It was. And this hat is all the way from Japan. That hat? Yeah. This wow. hat. Wow. <laughs> all the way from it Japan. It doesn't look like it at all. Can we just take a moment all the way from Japan? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you say so, wow, that's um, sugoi desu ne. That was a bit of Japanese, you know, because that song's in Japan, Japanese. It's in <laughs> Japan, yeah. and I know a bit of Japanese. You know, I've been there. I oh speak a bit. Could you, you know? teach us some? You want to learn some? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I'm cool with that. Only thing is, you've got to call me sensei. Sensei means sensei. teacher. Right. Right sensei. now, I'm your teacher. Okay. okay. So we're gonna start off basic, right? Mm -hmm. You go to Japan. You're meeting a person for the first time. What you're gonna say is, Hajime mashite. <laughs> Hajime mashte. Hajime mashte. Hajime mashte. Yes. Hajime mashte. Yeah. It's not two words though, it's one word. And that just basically means like, nice to meet you. Right. Lauren, can you say it for me? Of course. Hajime jashte. Hajime jashte is not right. It's hajime mashte. Hajime mashte. Hajime mashte. Hajime jashte. Jashte? Hajime mashte. Like mash. Mash. <laughs> mash. I can't like say it. No, we'll try it one more time, like okay? Mash. Hajime. Hajime. Mashte. Mashte. Hajime. Mashte. Hajime. Mashte. You're trying your best. <laughs> That's what matters. Nearly there. Now, um, if you want to say hello, you said um, nice to meet you. You say my name is blah blah blah, but you can call me blah blah blah. You usually say that if you want someone to call you by a nickname or something, you go, Watashi wa boalia demo Joshua de yonde kurasai. I don't know why I said Joshua, I couldn't think of a nickname for boalia, but you know. So it goes Watashi wa. Watashi wa. Your name? Jessica. Jessica? Your name? You said, Je isn't your name Jessica, not Jessica? Yeah, Jessica. <laughs> yeah. Demo. Demo. <laughs> Jess. Jess. Te yonde kudasai. <laughs> Sorry. Te. Te. Yonde. Yonde. Kudasai. Kudasai. Yes. <laughs> Say it all together if you um, can. <laughs> Watashi wa Jess. Jess. Des. Oh, Des. Jess. Demo. Yeah, you know. yeah. Jess. Yes. I don't know the last bit. Te yonde kudasai. Te yonde. Uh, yonde. Yonde. Kudasai. Kudasai. Hi, Lauren. Watashi wa. Watashi wa. Lauren. Des. Des. Demo. Demo. Los. <laughs> That's my nickname. Okay. Los. Te yonde. Te yonde. Te yonde. Te yonde. Not te yonde. De. De. Te. 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 Yonde. Yonde. Kudasai. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for that. I don't think I'll be uh, any Japanese anytime soon. <laughs> We've got a treat in store for you next. You can see the trailer for the next upcoming Hollywood movie, and all you have to do is keep watching. And you could win a trip to New York if you just answer our, qu our question following this trailer. Sir, 
guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. So in a trip to New York, answer this question. What's Spider-Man's real name? A, Pete Parker, B, Pete Pale, or C, Peter Parker? Lines are open now and until 4pm today. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. If you call after lines close, you may still be charged. The winner will be chosen at random for, all, for the correct answers and will be announced when you tune in tomorrow. Four terms and conditions and winners list can be found on our website. Good luck. We'll see you after the break when Tom Holland is here to discuss his real life superpowers with us. <laughs> 